if you can do anything, stop by my situation. Somebody shout anything in the house. Hmm. Anybody need anything from God? If you're sick, I dare you to shout anything. If you're in trouble, I dare you to shout anything. If you got a storm, I dare you to shout anything. God do anything for me. Well, the man said, if thou canst, all things are possible to him that believes. This is indeed a repetition, repetition for the teaching of scripture in every page. Faith is the posture of the heart which God cares for. Faith is the cry of the heart which God will never disregard. And this condition comes out in a very impressive mind. The poor father was driven to faith by need and suffering. By sympathy and despondency. By his repeated failures to attain relief. This father was drawn to Christ by his gracious and majestic presence. As he came down from the Mount of Transfiguration. This father seemed to have confidence in the disposition and readiness of the divine healer. I see Jesus. Compassion was excited. He might pause to call forth the father's faith. But he would not withhold his sympathy from the suffering. And understand just like that, Jesus fixed the problem in the boy's life. And the boy rose and was healed. And if I might translate it into the vernacular of the day, Jesus was just saying it was just a blown fuse. Oh, but I'm so glad trouble don't last always. It's just a blown fuse. Children won't act right, won't do right. It's just a blown fuse. Fuse. Whatever the problem is, just turn it over to Jesus. It's just a blown fuse. When you give it to Jesus, he will. Yes, he will work it out. It's just a blown fuse. Remember I said that my father had it under control. I want to let you know God has got it all under control. It's just a blown fuse. If church folk won't do right, it's just a blown fuse. If family won't act right, it's just a blown fuse. God is still in control. And let me tell you this before I close. To insinuate that God can help us in time of trouble. It's to suggest that God is God all by himself. If you consider Philippians 2, 9 through 11, the Bible says, Wherefore God has also have exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That is the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Of things in heaven and things in earth and things on earth and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God of the Father. Among all those who have been born in this world, there are no equal to him. As I get ready to close, I need to let you know Jesus, he's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who lit the fire of the sun. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who put the glow in the moon. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who gives the stars with twinkle. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who spins the earth on its axis. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who uphold the elements of the entire universe. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who will direct the affairs of the nation. He's in a class all by himself. But he's the one who closed the fields with all of their splendor and their beauty. Look at wherever you may and for how long you may, yet you will never find another like Jesus. He alone is the one. There is simply nobody like it. Tell me who can steal a storm like Jesus. Tell me who can calm the waters like Jesus. Tell me who can hush the wind like Jesus. Tell me who can divide the seas like Jesus. Tell me who can shake the earth like Jesus. Tell me who can move the mountains like Jesus. Tell me who can gather the axe head like Jesus.
Jesus. He's the one who can shut the hungry lion's mouth. He's the one who can open locked prison doors. He's the one who can tear down the mighty walls. He's the one who can cause the sun to stand. He's the one who can remove the heat from the fire. He's the one who can cause the dead to live. He's the only one who can cleanse those that are corrupt.